Kia ora, Chrissy back again and we are going to get into the season 1 finale of Star Wars Rebels. Like, comment and subscribe please. So last time we had the episode uh, Rebel Resolve, our crew minus Kanan obviously, uh, infiltrating an Imperial courier to find the location of where they are going to be taking Kanan. Uh, since they haven't been able to crack him, um, Tarkin is doing what he can to crack him, but it ain't working. And they manage to do so, and they find out that they are taking him to Mustafa. And I think we all know who awaits on Mustafa. Apparently, according to Kanan, that is where Jedi go to die. And I can believe that. So yeah, we're going to get into this next episode. If you'd like the full-length reaction to this episode, as well as others in the series... Or other shows and some movies then you can go to my patreon the link will be down in the description below otherwise if you don't want to do that then just liking commenting on this video subscribing to my channel anything helps I'll be very grateful uh, but yeah we're gonna get into the next episode we are doing season 1 episode 15 the season 1 finale fire across the galaxy let's do it all we need to do in this episode is just rescue Kanan and get the hell out of Dodge because Kanan is not dying this episode. It's her. What is she being spraying? We have an intruder on the north side, sector nine. The artist is it's back. The artist. Oh. It's obviously a diversion. Oh, she's going to take the tie. Oh, damn. I thought she was going to take the tie. Not again. Everyone Oh, boy. That's why she didn't take the tie. Good job. I like that swirl. <laughs> Very swooshy. The transport you stole will get us close to the fleet over Mustafar. That's why they did that. We'll need a distraction to cover our entry. Sabine, if we could get inside the docking bay, I could rig something. But our transport ship's not going to fit in there. <sighs> Too bad we blew up all the ties at that base. I knew it was going to come back! There is one left, but it's not at the base. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, yes! The tie we stole a while back, we, uh... We didn't exactly crash it. You all knew about this? There's a slight problem with it. What kind of problem? Yeah, what kind of problem? Oh. Did they take it out for a joyride? It's some of my best work. <laughs> I have to do. I thought you were supposed to be the same one. This whole plan is as crazy as those colors. Kanan is family. And we've all lost enough family to the Empire. I I'm not ordering you, any of you, to come along. But you need to decide now in or out i'm in i'm in carabast i'm in but what about that let's repaint it by the time the imperials see it it'll be too late i know nothing of a larger rebellion and if i did i'd rather give my life than tell you so heroic just like your master uh -oh. how did you survive order 66 it was your master, Bilaba, who laid down her life for yours. Do you remember her last word to you? Her last and final breath? You do, don't you? You see it in your sleep. You'll hear her voice when you wake. Oh, that's, that's doing it. Run. And does your loyal and precious crew know you ran as your master fell? Abandoned her and the Jedi Order when they needed you most? You're a child. You couldn't save your master then, and you can't save your followers now. I'll send in our transponder code as soon as we know Kanan is there. Ezra? Well, here goes nothing. You can be able to see if you can feel him. <sighs> He's there. He's alive. Sending codes. Transport ship 63378, cleared for docking. They've bought it. 
Send in Sabine's present. What is it? Filled with explosives or something? That's not regulation. I kind of like it. <laughs> yep. Whoa. They're here. So predictable. We've lost main power. Some kind of pulse detonation in Bay 5. This shouldn't take long. Keep the engine running. Oh, God. Um, for a season finale, this is going to end badly, I can just tell. This should, like, burn your shoes. How soon? Too soon, I reckon. Come on. This way. Oh, crap. He's moving already. Reinforcements already? That was fast. Yeah, because they were expecting you, that's why. Drop your weapons! Hands up! They found us. It's the rebels! This way! Shoot to kill, man! Kanan is down that hall. I just cut off our only way to get to him. Might be our only way, but it's not yours. Oh, through the ducks. Fulcrum. Is this Fulcrum? Who is this? Is here, isn't it? Turns out he's a. You know this is a trap. Where's the Inquisitor? There he is. Let me borrow that. Yeah, no problem. He's pretty, still pretty spry for being tortured. We're gonna get rid of the. Are we gonna get rid of the Inquisitor here? <gasps> That's Kana. Double team. At last, a fight that might be worthy of my time. Sorry, you're not as impressive as Maul as with a double-bladed lightsaber. Sorry. Well, I know he's he's not dead. That was a mistake. Why? Because you have no one left to die for you. No, because I have nothing left to fear. Fucking kill him! Kill him, Kanan! <laughs> <laughs> Part two, we go to Bay Five. Ah, where your masterpiece is. That's got nothing to do with it. Ezra, we're they're finding another way out. They're gonna use ties. Oh fuck! Can you hear me? Okay, I thought he fell all the way to the bottom. Oh, he's cut up. Ezra, are you out there? Was that from uh, the lightsaber? You were right. I was a coward. But now I know there's something stronger than fear. Far stronger. Oh? The Force. Let me show you how strong it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! Oh, 
Oh shit! Is that the... I was gonna say, is that the hyperdrive? You have no idea what you've unleashed here today. There are some things far more frightening than death. Oh. I didn't actually think he would die this episode. I I was just, you know. <laughs> I was just I was just saying that. <laughs> I didn't actually think he would die. I thought I lost you. I know the feeling. Let's go home. Love it. That's gonna explode. Ezra, we're in the tide. Where are you? On my way. Go! We are not leaving without you and Kanan. Will you just listen to the kid? Don't worry. I've got him. You mean, I've got you. You take care of Zeb and Sabine. I'll get him out of here. Trust me. There's a tie waiting right there. The Inquisitor's tie. Well, we know he's not going to use it. You know what, kid? You worry me sometimes. <laughs> so he didn't actually get down onto Mustafa, but that's okay. Abandon us. He didn't abandon you. He did. He did talk to Fulcrum. We got your back. We got ties closing in. How many? Too many. Oh boy, that is a lot. We're in a bit of a tight spot. Yeah, well, these things weren't built for three. Our men out there! Here. Trying to concentrate. I just want to say it was really nice getting to know all of you. <laughs> oh, chopper. Chopper. Oh! <gasps> he really got help. This fulcrum? Holy crap! Holy crap! Kanan, Ezra, dock with chopper's transport so we can make the jump into hyperspace. Oh. The rebels have escaped, sir. <laughs> Are we going to see her? I owe you all a great debt of gratitude, even if what you did was rash and reckless. <laughs> You're welcome, dear. Aww. If Chopper was in this transport ship, then who was flying the gun? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Hello, my friend. Oh, fail. It's cool, too. His name is Senator Bail Organa. And the crews of the blockade runners? Members of other rebel cells. There are other cells. We weren't supposed to meet. That way, if captured, we could oh. reveal the other rebels to the Empire. That's why, what she said, that's what she meant. Fulcrum. Ahsoka. My name is Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> Holy fuck! Many in this system and beyond have heard your message. You gave them hope. She's like how old she looks. One chapter has closed for you, Ezra Bridges. This is a new day. A new beginning. <laughs> Fuck. She looks so different. It's not surprising. There are whispers from Mustafa. Not to worry, Agent Callus. The Emperor has sent an alternative solution. <laughs> I 
I guess going to Mustafa, you know, I, 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 I kind of expected that we we're going to see him probably. Not here like this, but. Oh fuck, I don't know. Look at her. Look how much she's grown. So after like that that episode of um the Tales of the Jedi, you know, Resolve, I think it was called. After Bale, you know, said to her, "You ready to get into the fight?" And so since then, so so we've seen her now. She's been doing underground crap <laughs> for the rebels. I would love to know what she's been up to, like what kind of things that she's done in these years since that episode till till this one. Someone did tell me about the Ahsoka book, um, and I have seen it on Audible, and I am going to listen to it. Uh, they did mention that I should probably wait till I'll, after I've seen season two in case I, you know, for a specific spoiler that that I might get spoiled in the book. But oh my god, it's so good to see Ahsoka. <sighs> By the way, just so you know, that I am going to be watching the Ahsoka show, um, the Disney Plus show. I think it has been mentioned that it is like a, it's basically going to be like a season 5 of Rebels. Uh, so that's why I want to wait till I've finished it. I have deleted like my Twitter and that, so I don't, I'm not uh, tempted to look it up and get spoiled accidentally. Uh, so... Yeah, please, no spoilers for the Ahsoka show. And it's sad because it's going to be hard because every time a new, you know, Star Wars or even a Marvel show comes out, I always watch it straight away. <laughs> um, so it's going to be hard to, to, you know, it's going to be a few months before I even get to watch it. Um, but yeah, no, it was so good to see Ahsoka here. I honestly thought that we we're going to get go down onto uh, Mustafa's surface, which was where we were going to see Vader, but... No, that didn't happen, but we did see Vader at the end, and he has come to kind of clean up uh, Tarkin's little bit of a mess that he made. Um, so, oh, I guess we'll be getting into that into the second season. Uh, again, I, I I was told that season one is more like an introduction to our characters, um, kind of what's going on, uh, more light-hearted uh, uh, episodes. Uh, for this season and then from season two onwards it was, it's going to be like full steam ahead basically so i am really looking forward to it so far for this um season uh if you remember when i went into it i did mention that uh i had watched the first two episodes and i had uh stopped watching it because ezra annoyed me these last few episodes have been really good um seeing ezra from that uh, kind of selfish, you know, kind of do things for myself kind of thing. And now he's like, this is my family, you know, he, he's going to rescue Canaan, he doesn't want to lose them. And, uh, you know, he did, he grew on me and he has, he has really wedged himself in there now. Uh, and I'm a lot more invested in him uh, than I was in the beginning. Canaan, um... I was really worried that we were going to lose him this season. Well, in this, this episode, or even the last episode. Uh, but, like I said, they're not going to do that because he's our main, one of the main characters. He's one of the, you know, he's one of the main characters. And it's not going to happen unless it's got to, unless it's going to drive Ezra forward for some reason. Um, when they brought up his uh, master, Master Balaba, um, and how the last words that she said to him was run and he ran uh for some reason i think that's gonna come back again um and he's gonna say and he's gonna say and do the same thing to ezra and he's gonna he's going to i mean i'm like really projecting far into the future here that he's going to understand why his master did the same thing to him said, said that to him um and he's going to want Ezra to run uh, and you know I think that's going to come into play later but other than that um this was a really good season you know there was a few kind of like fillers but it was more uh getting to know the characters and and, and their motivations and, and 
there's still a few things that I I've, um want to know about our characters. Sabine, how did she get out of the academy? Um, Chopper, how did he come into all of this? Um, we got a little bit of uh, Zeb and, and his people, and, and you know, when we had the story about the disruptors. Um, and are we done with uh, Ezra's parents possibly being dead or alive? How did Hera get roped into all of this? Um, oh, and it also uh, brings me back to uh, answering the question basically about what I, you know, what I was wondering was when Kane and, you know, when, um, when Hera had said that there's nothing that, uh, that Kanan doesn't know anything. This was what she meant. She knew that there were other cells, but they didn't know because it was easier for them not, it was better for them not to know in case they were tortured. That way they wouldn't be able to out the other cells. Um, I guess that, that, that makes more sense to me. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, this was really good. I really enjoyed this season. Uh, it took, you know, I got past the, the hump at the beginning, um, i.e. Ezra's kind of selfish attitude. Uh, and I'm invested. I'm invested now. We've got a Ahsoka up out on the scene. I don't know if she's going to stick around or not. Uh, and we've got Vader. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the next season has in store. But we are going to leave this one here for today. Thank you for joining with me. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you next time for season two of Star Wars Rebels. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you next time.